So do we want to uh, pay back two hundred fifty thousand dollars out of that right. construction account or two seventy two? Well, if you, if you pay the invoice today, you're only going to be two forty thirty nine. Right. So they take two hundred. Okay. Two hundred dollars. Uh, some of this back and I have to borrow again. Are there any type of fees? Well, that's the only thing you got it shouldn't be, but <coughs> I don't know how it was set up, you know. Doug, the, okay. <coughs> maybe you can me, maybe you can, but let's say we have all we pay it all back and it breaks our current TIF account. Then we can write a check on the bands and draw it from there. We won't pay any interest until we write that check on that amount. Or do we have to take it out in phases or amounts more than we need? I don't know how to set up. I'm, I'm just taking. I'm just saying the money in the redevelopment account is what we need to pay back. Not for our regular tip. The money. Unless there are some kind of uh, fees or restrictions on to keep it from doing that. Yeah. bucks a day, whatever it is, like 200000 You're talking about the construction loan, right? Yeah. yeah, right. Well, and I guess my concern with doing that, though, is, is what Lowell's pointed out. I mean, we're paying invoices out of both the, the original TIF account and we're paying invoices out of the construction account. Um, and we're not going to, right now we're going to, we're going to pay the uh, Armstrong $23,000, dollars uh, So if we, if we pay $200,000 back out of that account to pay down the bonds, we're down to uh, $39,000 left in there. If we get another bill, then we're going to get a draw on the loan. And, and again, okay. Right. Yeah. Am I, am I thinking right? Or? Well, you're the banker. Well, you pay out. Why can't you pay out the other tip account? I mean, it's well, because you always just coming out of that too. And I, I thought about that too. In other words, what makes a difference? We're trying to save the interest. It's daily interest. Well, if you can. In other you words, know, I, I agree with Doug. If you can pay back to the. We could pay back four hundred thousand probably. I well, I wouldn't get that carried yeah. away, but I get one maybe you could. Why not pay four hundred thousand back and borrow it back when you need it in sixty or ninety days and save all the interest costs? Maybe you can do that. I wasn't privy to any of that, so I don't know how it was handled either, and I don't know the terms of the June should have band. a contract. As far as the band. No, it's a flat fee on top. You're treating it like a checking account. Yeah, I 
don't think it's going to just I don't be think limited to. I don't think you can do that. It seems like somewhere I heard that uh, when this that's my band, they're guaranteed a 90 day interest rate or somewhere. But I'm not sure. And I, I, I mean, because they was afraid that we would do something like this. It was a guarantee. There was a guarantee, it was a guarantee I think, of a 90 day interest rate right. on this loan, but I'm not sure. Maybe we should turn this into an inquiry and check out the terms. Yeah, and I'm happy to help look into that. Uh, I mean, Rick, Rick and uh, uh, John Julie negotiated with the bank, but but I'm happy to, to look into it as well. I mean, I, I know that you've got what what Lowell's talking about. I know on the bonds, you know, there's a minimum. You know, usually they, they put it at eight to ten uh, years somewhere in there that that you can't pay it off. You, know, you can't write it. I can't remember what the prepay terms were on the land <coughs> off the top of my head. It seemed like 90 days. If that's the case, we ought to keep the money until 90 days are up. Well, yeah. yeah. How can there be an income? Okay. Let me, uh, we'll ask about that. Tim, do you want to call Yeah, I'm happy to. Do you want to Well, I mean, frankly, I, I may use that opportunity. Uh, I mean, if, if you want me to, to uh, strike up the discussion with my balls to Serious, they are about that $2,800. Yes. At the same time? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to do that if that's. Please, yes. They, I mean, their letter on that, going back to that again, their letter was <coughs> more request. They were, sure, they, 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 they yeah. made very clear that they in no way wanted to jeopardize relationships. <coughs> the meeting to uh, questions and comments uh, from anybody on the floor. Very limited crowd. Um, no new and old business to discuss. I think we've pretty well gone over that tonight. Um, our next meeting, <coughs> according to the schedule that June had done at the beginning of the year, is, uh, I've got the wrong date out here, is December 30th. Does that work for everybody? Providing drinks. <laughs> got it. You got it. That'd be a day early, wouldn't it? <laughs> I just started. I just started. Um, so if that works for everybody, we'll do December 30th. To be honest with you, when I looked at my calendar and I wasn't drinking that night, I was thinking that it was on the 24th and I thought, oh, we don't want to do that. And I was, I was off by a week. That's the reason I had down there. Anybody wants to bring up? Just to clarify for the men's, are you going to, are you, you're not going to pay the bill this month? Um, or are you going to pay it? Which bill you're going to pay? We're going to pay our bill, we're going to pay it. Uh, we approve yeah. the pay. Armstrong? What account are you going to pay it out of? Uh, Armstrong is coming to the, the development. The construction account. The tip money or the construction? The construction account. Okay. And Vietas comes out of the TIF count for clarification. And then we're holding in abeyance uh, the unbox invoice. Uh, okay. We had some good discussions tonight. I appreciate everybody's input on that. If there's nothing else, um, Call for motion to adjourn. So moved. Second.